Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial video on how to set up redundant Aviva license servers and we're going to be working with version 2020 now to begin first let's verify that we are working in a uh, non-domain environment or a domain environment so we go to computer properties here we notice that we're actually working uh, with a work group as opposed to a domain and that's important because we have to if because we're working in a work group we're gonna have to uh, utilize a utility uh, to make some changes that utility is located in the C program files x86 common files orchestra licensing framework license utilities and we're gonna be we're gonna use this particular utility here is AE LIC workgroup and because we're working in a uh, workgroup type environment this is gonna make some changes to the uh, user uh, the services that are running in the background as opposed to running them as a local system account we're gonna run them as a specific user so we do this by selecting the utility and and right-clicking selecting run as administrator and once the utility comes up we just simply click on configure and we will uh, select our username or type it in this is usually the network account because both the, because this user account must be on both systems so once we select it just simply select configure and we'll go through the configuration process once that is complete on the primary system we're going to go to the backup system and do the same thing we'll go to the same folder again C program files x86 common files orchestra licensing framework license utilities select the AE LIC workgroup utility right click on it and run as administrator click on configure type in a username that is on both systems generally is the network account and select configure once that's complete we just simply select finish now to learn about this particular part of the uh, of the procedure you can always refer to tech note 3019 that is TN for tech note 3019 and one key point I want to stress that if this if the license server is ever upgraded you'll have to do this uh, again because it will automatically reset the service account uh, with um, with the default credentials which is the system account now once this is complete we can minimize this and let's verify that the license server is installed on both nodes so we have a license the, the license manager utility and that means the license server um, is generally installed and we have a license server uh, this is my primary it's called in touch underscore ins that's my host name and if I head on back here to the backup node if I take a look you can see that it's ready to add a license server so that means the license server components are installed so let's go ahead and, and, and or add our backup license server I'm gonna type in the computer name now hopefully you're able to ping the computer the backup node by computer name and IP address just to ensure that there's no communications issues so I'll click on apply once the process is complete you'll see that I now have a um, a backup license server if we head back to the main page you'll see that I have I now have two now we're gonna go to the primary license server we'll select it And once we're into in the user interface, uh, we'll go here and select manage, and we'll select redundancy. We'll enable backup, and we will select our backup server, and select apply. Once the application uh, of the uh, once we once the uh, the apply process is finished, we will see that we now have two license servers a primary and a backup we see the statuses and the pair status and it says paired and available that means they are communicating now let's add a license 
We'll select our license and activate. Once the activation process is complete, we will now see our new activated license. So that concludes this brief tutorial video on how to set up a redundant Aviva license server. Thank you.